What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you all my go-to makeup look. This is a makeup that I do when I need to go somewhere quick or when I wanna look just put together. I know this makeup look is not going to fail me. Every single time that I do this makeup look, it comes out perfectly and it comes out exactly how I want it. Some of the products sometimes change depending on how my skin's reacting or the weather or what kind of look I'm going for, but typically the products that I use in this video are the products that I gravitate towards. I'm actually heading out in a bit to go take some portraits and some pictures for Instagram and things like that. So I even wear this makeup look for photos. I actually also show you guys how I do my hair in this video. I'm trying out these new extensions from Estelle's Secret and this is what the packaging looks like. I'll have all the details below as far as like length and everything. I did kind of trim mine to kind of look better with my hair length. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, first thing I'm doing here is brushing out my lashes because I got lash extensions for the first time. If you follow me on Snapchat, then you would probably already know. So before I jump into applying my makeup, I like to just brush through them to make sure everything is nice and separated. And I do have a vlog of when I went to go get my lashes done on the Sabrina and Chris vlog channel. So I'll link that down below in case you're interested in watching. We gotta moisturize our lips. I'm using the Jouer Lip Treatment. And then I'm priming my skin with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Primer. I've been using this one lately. It kind of reminds me of the Hourglass Primer. I still prefer using my more smoothing primers. This one smooths the skin a little bit, but not as much as I was expecting it to, but it's still a good primer. So I apply this all over, mainly my cheek areas because that's where I have larger pores and where I have my acne, so I kind of want to smooth out any texture that I have in that area. As for foundation, I'm using my Hourglass Mineral Veil Foundation. I've been using this foundation for such a long time now, since it came out actually, and I've loved it ever since. I have it in the shade Warm Beige, and I just apply it where I have my acne, and then I kind of blend that out later on. Since my skin is clearing up a little bit more, I don't apply as much foundation. I still do apply a lot, but I feel like if I apply just in those areas where I do have acne and then blend it out, it gives me that coverage, but it doesn't look as heavy. I really, really love this foundation. The only thing is that after a few hours, my skin is really oily. It doesn't stay matte on me at all for a long period of time. So if I want something a little bit more mattifying, I use my Laura Mercier foundation, the one that I recently did a review on. But I like this foundation here for photos and for everyday wear. For concealer, I've recently been using a mixture of ColourPop and my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color, oh, I forget the color. It's not custard, it's the one right above that. It's a little bit deeper, but I apply that first underneath my eyes. Oh, Actually, remember, it's the color ginger. So I apply the color ginger, and I also bring it up on the sides of my nose because I've realized that I have a lot of darkness around my nose area, and it makes my nose look very wide. So I kind of try to conceal the darkness if possible. So then I take the ColourPop concealer in the color medium tan, and I apply it right on top to give a little bit more coverage, and just because I love the finish of the ColourPop concealer. To blend everything out, I use my Beauty Blender, I just tap everything in and then I blend it down towards the top of my mouth, the upper lip area. And then I use a brush, you'll see it in a bit, it's from IT Cosmetics. And I use that brush to blend the inner corner of my eye. Since I do have lash extensions, I try my best not to get that much makeup on my lashes. That way I don't have to rub and rub and rub to remove my makeup. To set that in place, I'm using a Makeup Forever Matte Setting Powder. And this is a great powder to set the entire face or the under eye area. Only thing is I wish I would have gotten it in a shade lighter because I believe they have four different shades in this powder. Once I place it on my face, it kind of gets a little bit darker, but it's totally fine. It all kind of balances out anyway once I finish up the rest of my makeup. And for bronzer, I feel like this is my favorite part of the makeup look just because it brings everything together. It adds some color back to my skin. It adds a little bit of shadow and it just makes you look a little bit more snatched, if you will. So I use my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and this is actually a foundation powder. It's supposed to add coverage and supposed to set your makeup, but I got it in the deepest shade to use as a bronzer because I love the tone and it also has the slightest, slightest, slightest amount of shimmer. It's not completely matte, 
but it's not overly shimmery either. It's the perfect combination. And for highlighting these cheekbones, we're gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator. I apply it with my Morphe M501 brush. This highlight is, I don't even know if it's still limited edition or if they have it permanently, but this highlight is so pretty. So I applied it all over the high points of my cheeks, on my nose, on my cupid's bow, my forehead, pretty much all over my face. But I'm very particular as to where I apply it because I do not apply any in the center of my forehead or on my chin because that just makes me look a little bit too oily and my skin's already oily as it is. Lately, the blush I have been loving and I can't put it down, it's a Sephora Colorful Blush. That's what it says in the front in the color Hot Flush N13. This blush is so pretty. It looks very intimidating on camera. It looks very, very orange, and even in person it looks very orange, but if you slightly tap your brush into the blush and then you slightly tap it onto your skin, it gives such a pretty look. It adds a little bit more bronziness and it adds a little bit of shimmer. It just makes me look like I just got a really nice tan and it makes me look very glowy. I was just at Sephora randomly looking at the Sephora collection stuff and I saw the orange blush and it was calling my name for some reason and I tried it and I do really love it so I would definitely try it out. And I didn't really apply shadow. All I did was I took some of my bronzer and an eyeshadow brush, a really fluffy blending brush and just kind of messily applied it all over my crease. Just looking back at this footage as I'm doing this voiceover, like I'm looking at my makeup and I just love this look so much. I feel like it enhances all the right areas and it seriously is a perfect everyday makeup look but it looks great in photos as well like it looks kind of natural kind of glam kind of brings out like those really good features recently i went to v face beauty to get my eyebrows done and she did such a great job her name is vanessa they're located in la and she did my brows she made them look very feathery and they came out looking so good and she recommended this pen from ardell that i'm using to fill in my brows it's a feathering pen. And by the way, this is not sponsored at all. This is just a really good pen that I had no idea about until now. So you use this pen to fill in your brows and it fills them in so precisely, literally like hair-like strokes. And if you use it a certain way, it almost even makes your brows look microbladed. I know microblading is in right now. She did mention that it lasts about two days on the brows. I'm assuming that's if you don't rub on them or use makeup remover. If you just leave your brows filled in, I believe it's supposed to last a few days on your brows. I use mine in the shade medium brown and it's the perfect color because it's actually pretty, pretty dark for it being a medium brown. I'm gonna come back to my face once I finish up my hair. I'm gonna do my lips and the final touches, but I'm just clipping in my hair extensions. I used only a few tracks. Since I cut the extensions, I don't need to use as much. I just want a little bit more volume, a little bit more zhuzh. And the curling iron that I use is from Conair. I've been using this forever. I don't even know how thick the barrel is, but I'll have all the info in the description box. I believe I got this curling iron at like Walmart or something like that and it works great. I grab thick pieces of hair and I don't even hold the curling iron for a long time because I want more of a loose wave. I don't want a curl. So I just kind of leave it for a few seconds and I right away remove the curling iron. And that's pretty much all I do to get this look. The key really is to just grab thick pieces and to not let the curling iron just sit there for a long time because that's going to give you more of a defined curl. Once my extensions are in and once my hair is curled, you can see the difference from one side to the other. Just adds a lot more volume and it makes it look effortless yet put together. It looks a little bit messy, but then it's not. It's like the perfect everyday hairstyle. And then once I finish curling, I add a little bit of hairspray because I have some breakage towards the front of my hair. They're not baby hairs. That is straight up breakage from when I tried dyeing my hair. So I just go in with hairspray to tame those. And then the final step is to add some of the whey hair oil. This stuff smells good, first of all, and it works so well. It doesn't leave the hair looking greasy, oily, nasty. Just gives a perfect amount of shine and it brings the whole entire look together. To be quite honest with you, a lot of times I just leave my lips as is with the lip balm, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna add a little bit of color. So I'm using Matte Strip Down my favorite one of my favorite lip liners it adds a little bit of color it's the perfect nude and i put it on top of the lip balm and i kind of mix everything together and it looks like on my lips but better 
kind of situation and it looks a little bit glossy too which i like that pretty much completes the look i hope you all enjoyed if you're not subscribed already make sure to subscribe i love you all and i will see you all in my next video mm -hmm.